Wayne, this the B-roll right here. How you doing today, sir? What's happening? <coughs> Coach Wayne in the building. What's going on, y'all? Sports Real Talk. 95.3 Sports Real Talk. Coach Wayne in the building, the education station. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. It's the B-roll. This selection right there, man. That's, I'm telling you, man, our listeners out there, y'all be jamming. The, the songs that y'all send in, I'm, I'm going to keep on playing them. That's for sure. We all got the same flavor. That's for sure, man. But, um, you know, we want to real quick want to throw out here because this is, um, guys, this is Black History Month. And every Monday we give a Black History fact out there, okay? So we want to throw it out there. And uh, real quick, uh, Serena and our Black History sports highlighted players of this month, this week, will be Serena and, and Venus Williams, okay? They were born 15 months apart, raised in Compton, California, all right? Between them both, they got 30 Grand Slam titles. They got 14 in the women's doubles. 2002, 2003, and, 20, and 2010, they were both ranked number one and number two in the world. Right now, Serena has kind of surpassed her, her older sister, and right now kind of, she's one of the talks of one of the best tennis players in the world that has ever done it. So hats off to Serena and Venus Williams. You are our sports highlighted players of the week. Way to go. Hats off to salute you guys. Keep it up and keep going. Absolutely. So now, jumping back in here to Reliable A, Mr. KC, jump on in here, man. I need to, you know, get you to really explain to everyone, you know, what everything is about. But first, give you, you know, your reason uh, uh, of the passion that you have for this company. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. It was, it's crazy. Uh, one day I woke up and it's like the roles have reversed. You know, like I woke up and I looked up and I'm like, wow, I'm really the adult child of two senior parents now you know what i mean when it was like you know i'm used to hey pop let me borrow five dollars you know what i'm saying like you know hey how y'all doing and you know can i get a plate on sunday mom to like you know are y'all taking your medicine or are y'all doing everything you know so it was kind of like boom and it hit me all of a sudden and i had to think about it and it took me a while it, it really it was like it was like the village that raised the child because it took a lot of people to really help me figure it out and not only figure it out like yo you in the mother you know what i mean and and somebody told me they said look man you may have to move back home and i'm like man, i'm here every day <laughs> and they like yo you're not here <laughs> and i'm like well, you mean i'm here every day they're like yeah you may got to move back home I'm like i ain't moving back home. i am home i, I got every i'm here 20 out of 24 hours of the day but i don't have no clothes here you know what i mean Speaking. <laughs> so they like, uh, it ain't enough. And I'm like, what do you mean? But two extra, you're taking care of two extra people. That's like two extra jobs. You know what I mean? Like, taking care of people is a real job. You know what I mean? L listen, and I tell people, you know, just to deviate away from my story, I tell people, like, the caregiver is the oldest, most respected job in history in the world. You know what I mean? Other people had to go out. Everybody couldn't make it. Somebody had to stay back. You know what I mean? You know, and our parents is our jewels, so, you know, I had to take care of mine, you know what I mean? So, exactly. you know, I had to end up moving back, and I'm like, wow. And I, I, I'm just thinking, like, how many other people have gone through this? You know what I mean? How many other people, you know, looked up and they, they was, they was, they was the, you know, because my, my parents told me fast, hey, look here, man, you the kid, we ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say. But it's like, yo, you ain't made a move in a week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, yeah, you talking real good, but, they, you know, you ain't doing nothing. So I had to like kind of bogart step my way in and I had to move in and, you know, like, you know, and it came out to be a blessing for them, you know, and it, and it was a real eye changer. Like, you know, my, I tell everybody like my pop had, uh, he, he got depression. So like, he just like got stuck in the couch. You know what I mean? My mom had diabetes, like, uh, she didn't have diabetes. I'm sorry. She had, uh, 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 uh what you call it? Um, dialysis and, you know, she got dialysis, you know, uh, uh her, through her kidneys going bad and, mm -hmm. You know, she's like them dialysis, uh, you know, treatments is breaking her down. So like, she need extra help. Pop talking about, look, I don't need no help. But it's like, it's obviously a disconnect and something ain't going right. Mm -hmm. So like, I had to really like step in, you know. So it was like, you know, just taking a look around, like who else, who else is going through this? And then, you know, I, I'm 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 at the house all day, you know. My money, my, my, my little, you know, I'm an entrepreneur for life, you know that, but my little things is suffering because I'm at the house. Everything's right. suffering. It's like, what can I do? Right. You know what I mean? So I had to think it like, wow, I may not be the only person with this problem. Let me try to figure this one out because this is big, not only for me, 
But this is like you said, this is life changing. You know what I mean? Like 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 my boy, my best friend, one of my best friends in, in life name is KC and he say all the time, he say, you know, money ain't everything. But if you don't have none, it's gonna get hard to breathe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. What Eddie Murphy said in the movie, look, just take small breaths. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know how long that's going to work. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, you got to do something different. And I, I just try to figure out a way where I can help the most people. You know, and, you know, hey, man, I might be greedy because I, I want to help as many people as I can so I can get some blessings, too, at the same time. So I don't really know. You know what I mean? You know, right. you know so I, I, I love to help people. And we, and, we, and, we, and we glad that you figured it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we just want another one. Right, absolutely. You know, without you right now, you know, there's a lot of people out here that's kind of, you know, out here on their own, bro. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, with the with the fact that you have people's back, it's huge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not just, you know, the, the people who, who need the care, but, you know, the caregivers itself. They got yeah. somebody who actually can kind of, you know, come to when they going through different things, you know what I'm saying? Right. Whenever, you know, they're, they're, when they think it's over, they, they stress and they can't do no more or whatever, they can actually reach out to the support system that you guys created. Mm -hmm. um, I've used it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in case you don't, you know, hey, they told me, hey, you ain't going anywhere. Hey, KC used it you know, too. I mean, I used to talk to him. I mean, we talked to one another. So, you know, now we have sympathy and empathy because we have personally been there and had to take care of both of our parents.